It is with profound sadness and regret that we must report on the passing of a friend and colleague. Our hurricane expert John Hope passed away this morning as a result of complications following heart surgery. He was 83 years old. He was truly unforgettable and will be sorely missed. The eye of powerful Hurricane Michelle John came Hope, ashore in South an Florida. icon in the weather community and a much beloved friend and colleague to those of us here at the Weather Channel. He dedicated his life to weather, especially hurricanes, with a career that spanned more than five decades. Here we have two tropical storms to be concerned about. One's in the... His Atlanta. career began with a very important role during World War II. So we had no information on weather because the weather reports were all encrypted. So the only way we could ascertain what the weather was is to actually fly up there. And that's what we did, and then we would brief the folks going out on bombing missions and so forth. John was a forecaster involved in weather reconnaissance with the U.S. Army Corps. He joined the U.S. Weather Bureau, the precursor of the National Weather Service, in 1949. In the early 60s, he helped NASA launch its manned space flight program, forecasting for the liftoffs of the Mercury, Gemini, and Apollo programs. He then became one of the first five forecasters hired to establish the National Hurricane Center's headquarters in Miami. While the eye of Hurricane Gilbert continues to move toward the Mexican coast... And in 1982, just when most folks would have been ready to retire, John took his years of experience in a new direction, helping to launch the Weather Channel, bringing his vast knowledge of hurricanes to people across the country. John was always concerned about the viewers and made sure people were prepared for any approaching storm. And whether on or off the air, educating people was very important to him. He spoke to the young and old alike, and even gave viewers a history lesson using any method Dickens that would get grew up their in the early 1800s at the end of what is known as the Little Ice Age. I'm John Hope. There's something interesting. Nearly 100,000 American, British, and Canadian troops under the command of General Dwight B. Eisenhower. And it was that ordeal at Valley Forge that molded the survivors into an army. Much of what John talked about on air was serious business. But he had a fun side as well. I'm John Hope, and I've been studying weather since before he was born. It's, uh, I like snow, John. Well, there's a lot of we, it right there. We a lot of it. And we, we need these aviation weather reports because I'm going to be flying across the skies. I need to know what the weather's going to be okay. like. Okay, are you about ready to go now? Sure. Okay. <laughs> going to make my rounds again. This. Did you know John and I went to school together? Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you, John. You keep up the good work. <laughs> oh, okay, Santa. Glad to see you. And the only requirement is to act, act like you're paying attention. <laughs> Oh dear. Cold weather. That means I either go in the front door or get out the fireproof underwear. The fact that none of it is really true, doesn't make any difference. <laughs> John Hope had an exceptional career and was an exceptional person, receiving praise and recognition from everyone. John meant the world to the Weather Channel, and in many ways meant the Weather Channel to the world.